Howdy. Today, we're going to go over upgrade modules, how they work, what they do, and how to use them. Let's get going. Alright, so this is going to be a short video uh, as kind of an explainer. This is going to be snuggled into my survival guide series as a short episode in preparation for a future episode. Now, we're going to look at the upgrade modules. These upgrade modules you have the power efficiency module on the left, you have the speed module in the center, and the yield module on the right. The power efficiency module and the speed module can work on your refinery and your assembler. All three of them can work on the refinery. The yield module will not work on your assembler. Well, it'll go on there, but it just won't do anything for you. So, let's look at the backs of these modules. On the backs of these modules, you'll see these two little squares. These two little squares are the upgrade ports. And these two little squares, which hopefully I'm highlighting, can each be thought of as one upgrade. So each module has two upgrades. So there's one power upgrade and two power upgrades and your refinery has eight upgrade slots and it's able to hit four upgrade modules you can mix and match them you can put one power efficiency module two yield modules and a speed module or whatever you like on here just remember when you're laying them out you have eight slots and four modules that's it that's all you can fit now you can hang them off the side you can span them across two different refineries so you can you can place them like this and you're going to get one upgrade slot you can see on the upgrade module there one is green so you can see that side is active and the right side is not active if i had another refinery there it would be active on the other refinery and that would be fine now we're gonna look at the assembler the assembler also has eight upgrade ports we've got two of them right next to each other on that side and two on the other side on the right one of them is inside of the access port you have an upgrade module port inside of that access port there and that's on all four sides of this so you have eight total and again you can mix and match you can do the power and speed modules uh, you can mix and match the power and speed modules on this one and it might help you out in the future to do so to upgrade them that way I personally prefer to stick to just the speed modules on the assembler and the yield modules on the refinery and then try to get enough power production to not need the power modules but sometimes that's not an option and if we look at these uh, numbers here you can see that the yield module does nothing on the assembler no upgrade on it whatsoever whereas on the refinery the yield module ramps up and gets better and better with the more connection points you actually use. So if you're using 8 connection points, you get 200%. 1, you get 109. 2, you get 119%. And uh, 6, you get 168. And you can see that it ramps up. It adds 9 for the first module, 10 for the... For the uh, sorry. 9 for the first module connection, 10 for the second module connection, and 11 for the third, 11 for the fourth, 13 for the fifth, 14 for the sixth, 15 for the seventh, and 17 for the eighth. So you're better off in the long run if you can just pick one module type and stick with it because it's a ramped up curve. Speed modules are the same on both. They just give you a 50% increase for every connection point on the modules. Uh, so one connection point is 100, two is 200, sorry, one connection point is 150, two is 250, uh, 200, 
3 is 250, 4 is 300. Each one just adds 50. And the power modules, this ramping curve really shows on the power module. You're missing out on 91% boost if you don't get that last connection point from the power modules. If, you're, if you really need the power modules to help you with your power situation, you're going to want to use all power modules. Because you can see the, the first power module connection point gives you plus 22. Uh, so that, that'll bring you to 122% power efficiency. Two will bring you to 150, another 28%. Three will bring you to 183, another 33%. Four will bring you up an additional 41. Five will bring you up an additional 49. Six will bring you up an additional 61. And seven will bring you up an additional 75. And eight will bring you up an additional 91% efficiency. All the way up to 500% efficiency. So, you can mix and match these, but I wouldn't personally. You can, depending on what your situation is. I just try to avoid it. Uh, speaking of mixing and matching, you can also come to your refinery here and you can span them across two refineries. So if we come in and we just get rid of these here, you can see that I've got these four spanning across two different refineries here and that's fine that will work just fine you can see the the green indicators say that they're both connected and working on both sides of this even though it's spanning across two different refineries and you'll see that each of these is getting four connection points essentially the same as having two upgrade modules on each one But when we come to the assembler, you can do that. You can span them across. And we're just going to look at the power efficiency modules here. You can see on this one, I've got power efficiency modules just laid out kind of as the game was intended. And that's fine. And on the left, I've got them spanning across. Because maybe I didn't have the resources to make all eight of them. Well... There's a slight problem with that. We just switch to the power module here. So, how am I going to attach and use these upgrade ports down here? That's that's going to be an issue. Where am I going to fit these? I'm going to have to tear down these other four modules I have here and replace them. So I'll have to tear down this one here. And I'll have to then place two of them. I'll have to tear them down to upgrade this. So I prefer to avoid using that on the assemblers, but you can. You can use that on the assemblers. You can span them. You can mix and match them. On any of these upgrades, you can span and mix and match. It does not hurt anything. I just think it's a little bit harder to manage, personally. So, you have to look at these numbers here, and you have to plan out what you think is going to be best for you in your layout personally for the assembler i prefer to use all speed modules and for the refinery i prefer to use all yield modules this has its drawbacks its pluses and minuses you're going to have to figure out what works best for you and you're going to go with that so i hope this helps i hope you understand how the modules work and if you have any questions about it please leave them in the in the comment section and I'll be happy to try and answer any of them and remember just look through the comment section you may have seen your question already asked anyways thank you for watching that's all I've got for you have a good day